Well, hello, hello, my pickles, my snowflakes, my no matter what club members, and my turtles with our slow aged metabolisms. Here we are. Just finished my cup of Lavazza Italiano. It's fun. It comes in that little canister. It was on sale at Shaw's all week, so I got two cans because it seemed tasty. It's not organic, but still, it's tasty. I like the canister. It seems to keep it fresh. So, how are you doing? How are you doing with your keto or your carnivore, your keto vish, carno vish? How are you doing with your food plan? I'm doing okay. You know, I have my good days and my bad days. And every morning I ask for keto sanity, keto, I mean, um, food sanity, food sobriety, and food abstinence. And um, I do a pretty good job. I am certainly not wearing a shiny, polished, brassoed, polished halo for sure. But I have pretty good moments. And when I have portion distortion, um, you know, I use smaller plates for that. That helps. I use smaller bowls. I use smaller utensils. And all those things help. I chew slowly. I eat slowly. And um, it, it's just worked for a number of years. Um, I've allowed some non-keto things back into my life. I'm in maintenance, and I just go slow and enjoy non-deprivation. I think that that's an important thing. I think after COVID and when I fell and hurt my back, I, I just said, you know, life is too short at 71 to, like, be worried about, you know, should I have this or should I not? You know, people say... They, you know, nobody ever lied in bed dying, say, you know, I wish that I worked another day at the office. Well, you know, sometimes I'm just glad that I had that bite of or portion of something, something. But my diet is basically protein and veggies with good fats and um, dairy that, you know, is, is the best that I can do. I don't do anything um, weird or, you know, off the... I don't take any trails off the beaten path. I don't have weird concoctions of things I used to, but now I'm pretty straightforward. You know, I have a salad with the Bragg's organic dressing. I'll have um, in it, I'll have the organic mini peppers, the organic um, English cucumber, and I love the 365 organic coleslaw, the broccoli slaw, the... Um, Olivia's or Nature's Promise baby butter lettuce, that seems to be working okay now. And um, then I have the uh, crumbled goat cheese in it. I'll have good culture, 4% um, cottage cheese, and then a hard-boiled Pete and Jerry jumbo egg. I'm happy with that little salad. Um, I did get some rosemary, um, rosemary ham boar's head at Stop and Shop to put on it too. On the days that I don't have a protein on the side, today I'm having the burger. It's the burger day, so I, I won't have the ham inside the salad. But, you know, I'm very, I'm very easy to please with the simple things. I get up super wicked early just to get things going. And, um, you know, today was no exception. I was up I slept solid for like seven and a half hours. So when I got up, it was great. I could do all my food prepping. I plan on Instacarting all day. I have, I do clean intermittent fasting. It was funny. My boss was, you know, she's young and, and, um, you know, it, it, it's different when you're young, right? <laughs> and so, you know, she said, I told her I have one meal a day, and she goes, oh, so you just kind of like snack all day and then have that one meal? And I said, no, I just have black coffee and water all day and then have the one meal. And she said, how do you how do you make that? And it's just like, you know, it's so funny because when people are looking at the whole idea of like a clean intermittent fast with one meal a day, it just seems so like my blood sugar, I'll faint, I'll die. How, how do you do that? How do you not eat when you wake up? How do you not have lunch? How do you only have one meal a day? How does that work? And, you know, it, it's first, at first people are so afraid that their body, they're going to faint, they're going to die, they're going to not make it. And then, you know, there's that transition where we go from, 
you know, three meals a day or two meals a day. We switch over from the loaded coffees to the, you know, flavored coffees to the artificial sweeteners and and whiteners and all the creamers and all the things we put in our coffee to like the solid black unflavored coffees and then just the mineral water or the good, you know, spring water to kind of tide us through. And I put some salt in it. Sometimes I put some no salt too for the potassium um, because that's loaded up with that. And, you know, we just go about our day. And it, it is funny because I work from six to two when I work in the grocery store and I just bring in my black coffee and Gerald Steiner water or I get the water there. And at the first break, I'll have my coffee. And at the second break, you know, I'll just chug a lug on that liter of Gerald Steiner water. And it just seems so odd to people that are like, you know, when I'm cashiering, it's so funny because they'll always come through, you know, with like a real soda, you know, a real like Mountain Dew or sugar-free or Diet Coke or some sort of beverage like that. And then, you know, like the Twix or the Kit Kat or the, you know, some sort of confection candy tied me over blood sugar lifter. And and I, I just kind of chuckle because isn't that the way that we we think as we're like Americans and our typical three meals a day with snacks in between and everything else. So it it's funny to hi Freddie. Kitty cats in. It's funny to make the transition to intermittent fasting and then clean intermittent fasting and OMAD and and to just do it. And it's just my normal, you know, I I I couldn't eat two meals a day. Just the idea has no appeal to me. And yet how many years did I have two or three meals and doing it the Weight Watcher way and counting the points and having the unlimiteds and, you know, just constantly doing it. And I lost the 17 pounds in the first three months of Weight Watchers. It was the beginning of my journey. It was the beginning of my YouTube channel with me here. And if you go back and you look at some of the old things and I just would buy all these foods and I do these food finds and these grocery hauls. And it was just so funny back then with the Weight Watchers. And yet people have had great success with them. So I'm not disparaging Weight Watchers. It's what works for you. You know, if you go to sleep at night and you've had an abstinent day with your food, a sanity day with your food, and a sober day with your food, where like each item that's been presented, and I think summer is the hardest, you know, people wanting to go out after eat, or one of those things in a cone or a dish with the whip, you know, you know, all that stuff. It's so hard to say no, because it's summer and we kind of expect it. And a lot of people, maybe it's the, the rolls that accompany the hot dogs or the hamburgers. It's like, of course, or it's the cold salads, the potatoes, the macaroni, all those things. You know, fortunately, I, I don't like anything with mayonnaise or condiments. So like I was always safe with those. So I guess I guess that's 20 or 30 less pounds that I had to lose with with my journey because I wasn't having those things. But there's so many expectations of summer. I guess I guess summer, which is like the four or five month warm season of grilling and picnics and being out, is not unlike that like six or seven weeks of seasonal eating from like Thanksgiving to New Year's where it's all the the typical seasonal holiday type of expectations with that too. And it's so ingrained in us. It's so our norm that it's hard to break out of. It's like the idea of having, you know, like I went from the burger with the cheese on it. I always had to have the cheese on it. And I stopped having the cheese on it just to save, you know, the hundred. And then that hundred got translated into the scoop of of um, good culture cottage cheese on the salad. I get a lot more out of that than I did with the cheese on the burger. So now my burger is just, you know, it's a it's a rare to very rare burger on a plate. And I have the Redmond salt, which is delicious, and some good, you know, cracked um, peppercorn, pepper, black peppercorns on it. And then my set, I'm happy. You know, I never get tired of the delight of it in the salad. Yes, it's loaded with the 
the goat cheese crumbles and um, some slivered almonds. I like craisins. I buy the lower sugar ones. It is what it is. It's just a nice treat. And there's like 10 grams of the craisins, 10 grams of the slivered almonds, and then um, the 14 grams of the goat cheese, an ounce and a half of the good culture cottage cheese. So it's, it's with the egg. And it's just a nice salad and I love it and there's so many different ways that I you know I'm like a kid with food I'm like an adult with food I can put the cottage cheese onto the cucumber uh, yeah cucumber or um the baby bella mushroom or the 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 um mini pepper I can put it on I can sprinkle on a little red pepper or the redmond salt and it's like an hors d'oeuvre thing with the salad I mean I it's, I guess it would look like I'm playing with my food, but I just have different versions of the bites that I take. And I just delight in it. So I feel very fortunate that it's such a low calorie, high volume, filling, good raw veggie kind of treat. And it just, it just carries me. And then the nice portion of, you know, the chicken, like I'm a chicken thigh, pork chop, steak, type of person or the burger or a spare rib and and these things just kind of work for me I I do enjoy them and I don't know it it helps keep me in maintenance it keeps me satiated it keeps the sanity the sobriety and the abstinence over here that's nice thank you thank you God thank you higher power because in fighting the food addiction the overeating addiction you know it's a it is, it's not like the ladder comes down into the hole that you're in and you just walk up and everything is, you know, daisies and puppy dogs and rainbows. It's not that way at all. It's a journey and it takes a lot of time to find your, your bliss point, your bliss point of, you know, what you plan, what you eat, how you eat. You know, I really am a firm, firm believer. It's, not always about what you eat it's when you eat and how you eat and for me my old deranged metabolism from so many years of trying let me try this one let me do this plan let me try this track you know a fad um diet scheme all of it you know it's just my my poor belly this is the longest time that i've done something that just nice you know simple keto Easy on the processed foods, easy on the desserts, just, you know, a lot of good veggies and a lot of, you know, high quality, high protein meat. And it just works. I love ghee. I love butter. I like the the Bragg's dressing. Um, I haven't tired of that. I like the sprinkles of goat cheese on my salad. I'm easily pleased. And, and for that, I'm very grateful. You know, it's the keep it simple, Sarah kiss. So I'm so glad you're here. This has been Sarah with just another keto chit chat. You know, are you pleased? Do you have a bliss point? Have you found it? Do you honor it? And, and, you know, one day, one day you do the best you can with the day that you're given. And that's all we ask for is just that one day not the forecast of like for 90 days i'm going to do this and blah blah don't make promises you can't keep stay right in today you wake up today and it is a friday and so you're going to keep it good and clean and abstinent and you're going to be sober in your thinking about the food choices you make and it's it's that it's just the day and going to bed at night with a good day of what you did, habits as well as food choices, there's nothing as just comforting, peaceful, and recipe for, for contentment, you know, when it works for you. And you know, only you know when it works for you and when it doesn't. So I'm so glad you're here. A lot of you have been with me since the, <laughs> since the Weight Watcher journey. So I'm glad you're here, and I will see you here the next time. This has been Sarah Keto. Pearls of wisdom and food. Thanks for being here. I can't do this without you. Bye-bye for now.